Good evening. Vamos a iniciar en unos minutos. Vamos a esperar a que los demás compañeros se conecten. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Empezamos en unos minutos. Vamos a esperar que entre los demás compañeros. Ya, teacher. Ya está. Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you here this Tuesday. So first thing we are going to check is the class of tonight. Esta es la clase de ahora. Aquí está ya la pregunta para que puedan ustedes participar en el foro. Hay que hacer la tarea número 7, que es simplemente de ir a escoger la respuesta correcta. 
Y recordemos que para el anterior, para la 6, había algunos problemas, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo hay que poner, tienen que poner o la oración completa o solo la palabra. Y creo yo que era la, eh, okay, era la 2. En la 2 hay un error, solo toma, eh, solo toma la corrección, es decir, solo la palabra correcta. Solo esa hay que poner, que de hecho es office, ¿verdad? No es office, sino que office. Para todas las demás pueden poner solo la palabra o pueden poner toda la oración, ¿verdad? Esa sería la manera. También recordarles que hay que ir avanzando en la plataforma. Hay que ir terminando eh, esta semana en la unidad 2 y también para el viernes en la noche hay que terminar el midterm test, el examen, que tiene cuatro partes, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que terminarlo porque el sábado se envían las notas a San Salvador. Good. So we are going to check about the um, attendance. So here we go. Let me just check here. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Elia Janira Canizales Blanco. Present. Good. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. I'm here. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Okay. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Santos Cristina Cerrito de Ruiz. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. And Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Present teacher. Very good. So we are going to start the class of tonight. Vamos a iniciar con un video. Vamos a escuchar el video y luego lo vamos a, vamos a comentar qué entendimos en el video, ¿ok? So let's see how it goes. Ah, ok. Gisela no había visto que ya había regresado. Ahorita le ponemos antes de poner el video. Teacher, discúlpeme, me, me, se me mencionó. Así es. Ah, disculpe que aquí venía subiéndome al carro y ya no, no, le, no le escuché. No problema. Presente. Perfecto, gracias. Gracias. Ok, ahora sí, vamos a ver un pequeño video y ustedes me comentan qué entendimos del video. So, here we go. By side. Are you still looking for an apartment? Yes, I am. I'm still looking. Well, there's a very nice apartment for rent in my building now. Oh, really? Tell me about it. There's a large window in the living room. Mm -hmm. And there's a big closet in the bedroom. Uh-huh. And there's a great kitchen. Is it large? Yes. There is room for a nice big table. 
Is there an elevator in the building? No, there isn't. But get this. There's a jacuzzi in the bathroom. You're kidding. No, I'm serious. Are you interested in the apartment? Yes, I'm very interested. <laughs> Is there a stove in the kitchen? Yes, there is. There's a very nice stove in the kitchen. Oh, good. Is there a refrigerator in the kitchen? No, there isn't. Oh, I see. Tell me, how many bedrooms are there in the apartment? There are two bedrooms in the apartment. Two bedrooms? Yes, that's right. And tell me, are there many closets in the apartment? Yes, there are. There are three very large closets. Oh, good. And are there washing machines in the building? No, there aren't. But there's a laundromat around the corner. Are you interested in the apartment? Yes, I am. Good. Tell me about the apartment on Elm Street. It's nice, but it isn't very cheap. There's a brand new stove in the kitchen. There's a beautiful carpet on the floor. There are three large windows in the living room, and the bedroom has a sliding glass door. The bedroom has a sliding glass door? Yes, the bedroom has a sliding glass door. Tell me about the apartment on Main Street. It's cheap, but it isn't very nice. There isn't a tub in the bathroom. There aren't any lights in the hall. There's a broken window in the dining room, and there are 10 big holes in the wall. There are 10 big holes in the wall? Yes, there are 10 big holes in the wall. Ok, ¿qué entendimos del video? Alguien busca un departamento. Ah, ok, very good. They're looking for apartments or house or things like that. Very good. What else? Eh, preguntaban que si tenían algunas cosas como estufas, como eh, cuartos, camas, baños y todo eso. Very good. So they were asking about different kinds of rooms or facilities into the house. Y bueno, si se dan cuenta, estaban ocupando there is a there are. ¿verdad? Esa era la base de la conversación. Entonces, ahora vamos a hacer todo un rap. Ustedes en grupo. Ah, mentira, eso no. Vamos entonces a ver la clase de ahora. So, so it says how to use there is and there are in questions. Esto ya lo vimos, lo vamos solo a repasar, ¿verdad? A ver, me va a ayudar a leer. A ver, a ver. Ya les digo, ¿quién me va a ayudar a leer? A ver. Carla Daniela. Ok. We use there is and there are when we just refer to the existence or presence of someone or something. There's a letter on your desk. Julia brought, brought it from the mail room. No, it's a letter on your desk. There are three Japanese students in my class. There is and there's are both singular forms. We use theirs more commonly in informal speaking. There is a new cafe in the center of town, which sells Indonesian food. She's very determined, and there's no chance she will change her mind. There are is the plural form of there is and there's. There are two new buildings next to the school. There are both science buildings. In speaking in some information, informal writing, we use there's even when it refers to more than one. This use could be considered incorrect in formal writing or in an examination. There's three other people who are still to come. There's lots of cars in the car park. Okay, very good. Thank you. 
Entonces, eh, para empezar, este es como un repaso de la idea, ¿verdad? So, there is, there are, and remember, there is a singular, and also for non-countable, and there are is for plural, for the countable, right? Están también hablando de las contracciones, there's, y del ar que no se puede contactar. And eh, la última parte, creo que es la última nueva, la única nueva, donde dice que a veces se ocupa there is para plurales, pero que eso es incorrecto. ¿verdad? Entonces, eso, es, eso pasa mucho en todas las lenguas, la verdad. Es como cuando decimos gonna, I'm gonna go. Vale, ese gonna es como que nosotros dijéramos voy ir, voy ir a la tienda. Hey. Entonces, no es correcto, pero nos entendemos. Lo mismo pasa con este there's. O sea, usted, pueden, podemos usarlo como there's con plural, pero no es correcto, ¿verdad? No es correcto. Entonces, se escuchan palabras así o situaciones por el estilo. A veces a, me han preguntado, ¿por qué si se puede hacer eso? ¿verdad? ¿Por qué eh, yo puedo decir así, de esa manera? Ese de poder se puede, ¿verdad? Y hay muchas cosas en el inglés que se pueden hacer, igual que en el español, pero que sea correcto, pues no, ¿verdad? It's not correct. Do you have any questions about this? No questions. No. Okay. Perfect. So we are going to start with the unit two in the book then. Directions and instructions. I will be able to tell companies locations using there is and there are. Okay. And uh, it says, let's start. What places are there in your workplace? Ah, that is a very good question for everybody. What places are there in your workplace? Uh -huh. Media center. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what places are there in your workplace? Media center. Media center, very good. There is a media center. Any other? Uh -huh. Classroom. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Office. Cafeteria. Okay. Very good, perfect. Cara Daniela, also. Ah, I'm sorry. A ver. Warehouse. A warehouse. Yeah, that is sometimes very common in some companies. Any other? A huge uh, parking lot. A huge parking lot. And, and I'm sorry, what else? A uh, meeting room. Meeting room, okay. Okay, very good. How many meeting rooms do exist in your company? Oh my goodness, in my company we have like a like hundred meeting rooms. Okay, not a problem then. We are going to continue with the conversation. Como lo hacemos usualmente, yo digo y ustedes ven la pronunciación. Y luego vamos a practicar con otra persona. So, it says, my name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Arson. I work for Hutch. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What companies do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, 
pronunciation questions. La segunda teacher, ¿no? <ríe> ¿Quién habló? A ver. Dijo ahí for, for, get, o como for. Uh, I'm sorry, ¿en cuál? En, en la segunda participación de a Horson. La última. Ajá. Ah, igual donde dice I work for, ¿por qué? Hot. 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 Ok, thank you. Good. Any other pronunciation question? Branches. Yeah. Branches. Yes. Okay. Br branches. Branches. Thanks. Okay. Any other pronunciation question? Visita. Visita. Es está. Ah, okay. That's great. I visited. Visited one, huh? Any other pronunciation questions? And where grow, growing is it growing? Growing. Growing. Yeah. We're growing. Any other pronunciation? Launching. Launching. Está en la última oración. Launching. Launching. Así es, Bruno. Launching. Launching. Okay. Okay. Any other? Okay. So we are going to practice. Let's see how it goes. Uh, vamos a iniciar con Mario Ernesto and Abel Edenilson. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Arthur. I work for Hutch. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country. In the country. There are there are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited of the stores of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this this day. The eastern one yet. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now Cristina and Carlos Humberto. Como usted quiera, Carlos. Va, voy a comenzar yo. Pues. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. To um, Orson, I work for Hodge. 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 Okay. Oh, I know that <laughs> company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're grow, growing, growing. Yes, mm -hmm. we're grow, growing. So there are no many branches in the country. Yes, there are a web company no, that no you plan. work for. I, I work. Uh, no. No, it's the, yeah. okay. I work for Echo, well. the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. 
Так, да. Бит о 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 бит Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. The next one is going to be uh, for Laura Fuentes and Elia Janira. Okay, um, my name is Tom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Arson, uh, I wore for hat. Oh, no. That company, there is an office in San Salvador, downtown. 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 Yes, where where are growing? Um, so there are not many structures in the country yet. There are fit. Few. What come fit? What company do do you work for? I work for Echo, the company. Company. There are twenty five branches in the country. I continue after. I know that we. Uh, Ah, okay. Uh -huh. That that right. Uh, and this on um, one one of the story. The also other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. Where are uh, planning in launching? One in the San Santa Ana. This day there is not one yet. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel, is possible for you? Not possible for Gabriel. Okay. So Roberto Emilio and Saul Adalberto. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work at Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown? Yes, we are growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo. The painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the store the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Good, very nice, perfect. Now, Jocelyn and Carla Daniela. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for, for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visit one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. 
Okay, very good, perfect. Now, uh, Ivania and uh, Francisco Acuña. Okay. Nice. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Hojet. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. <clears throat> there are 25 branches in the country. That read a visit one of the store. Sí, se le tocaba ya a Ivania, and that's great. Oh, Perdón. No hay problema. That's great. Is it one, one of the stores the other days? Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one, one um, Santana TC days. There isn't one yet. Okay, nice, perfect, thank you. Now let's see. Carla Mendoza and Marilyn Alejandra. Okay. Okay. Va a empezar usted, Carla? Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orison. I work for Hodge. Oh, now that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are there are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in co the country. That's esto siempre es mío. Sí, creo que no. Mío. <laughs> sí, okay, that's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching on the Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, very good, perfect. Uh, now let's see, Janet. En Carla Hernández. I'm uh, sorry, Elizabeth Hernández. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, inicia quizá Janet. Hello, Janet. No le escuchamos. Hello. Sí, quizá hay problemas ahí con el audio, pero que no le escuchamos. Ok. Bueno, entonces a Elizabeth le va a ayudar. Check. Creo que ya repetimos todo. Creo que Janet dijo que tenía problemas con el Inter. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, sometimes that happens. Entonces le va a ayudar a Elizabeth Abele de Nilsson. Ok, dicho. Ok, empieza. Ok. Inicia usted, Elizabeth. No está. Eh, no se le escucha, ¿verdad? Veo que no está en mute, pero no se le escucha. Sí, no, no se le escucha. Estos días ha habido muchos problemas de internet, so that happens. I don't know what's going on. Something is going on, but we don't know what is going on. Bueno, entonces, 
Eh, vamos a dejar esta parte. Creo que todos, aparte de Elizabeth y de Janet, ya pasamos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Very good. Yes. So, now let's check some, well, let's be careful about some pronunciation. Hatch. Okay. Downtown. Uh, growing. Branches. And that's it. I mean, there are no other pronunciation issues. Let's check vocabulary then. Hodge eh, no significa nada, ¿verdad? Es como un acrónimo. Eh, luego tenemos downtown. What is downtown? Centro. El centro de la ciudad, ¿verdad? Así como allá donde están, están poniendo nice para, para que todos los turistas puedan llegar. Growing, we're growing. What is that? Crecer. Crecer. Creciendo. Very good. Branches, what is that? Sucursales. Sucursales, very good. Uh, yet, what is yet? Todavía. Todavía, como cuando decimos todavía no. No yet. A few, what is few? Algunos. Algunos, unos pocos, ¿verdad? No muchos, unos, pero unos pocos. Good. Eh, let's see. Stores. What is stores? No, tienda. Tiendas. No. Very good. And launching. What is launching? Lanzar. Lanzar. Lanzamiento. Very good. Lanzamiento de como que vamos a lanzar un producto. Vamos a lanzar, en este caso, una nueva sucursal. ¿verdad? Something like that. Good. Do you have any other question? Any questions here? No questions. Good. Okay, we're going to continue with the exercise. So, we're going to fill in the blanks to complete the following sentences. Okay, number one. Who's going to be number one? R. Yeah. R. Very good. And number two? Is. Is. There is one store. Number three? Are. There are very good, not any offices. Very good, nice. Hey, you know that already. That is very nice. Okay, and now we're gonna check about the, the usage. Use there is and there are. How to use there is and there are. Eh, vamos a ver. Roberto Emilio me va a ayudar a leer el cuadrito. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> use there is and there are to state that something exists. We use there is from singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. A uh, knob after to be to create the negative form. Uh, example, there is one office in San Salvador. There is no a uh, store in the city. There are three distribu. What do you say? Distribution. Distri distribution. Distribution centers in Ilopango. There are no many places to have a meeting. Very good. So, esto es también repaso. Right? It's a review of what we checked yesterday. So, we use there is and there are to state that something exists. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. And 
for negatives, remember that we're going to use not. So there isn't, there aren't, okay? And the examples, there is one office in San Salvador. There is not a store, I le falto in, like in the city. There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. There are not many places to have a meeting. Questions, do you have any questions? No questions. Okay, so we're going to do the exercise five. Read the sentence and find the mistake and correct it. Vamos a corregir esas oraciones. Hay que reescribirlas correctamente. Okay, les doy unos minutos para que lo podamos hacer.
Ok, did you finish? ¿Terminamos todos o falta alguien? No, I guess. Ok. So, let's check together. Number one, it says there is two branches in El Salvador. How did you correct that one? There are. There are two branches in El Salvador. Very good. There are two branches in El Salvador. Nice. Uh, number two, it says there are one facilities available. What did you have in? There is. There is. There is one facility available. Very good. There is one facility available. Number three, there is a new office. There is a new office. Office. Very good. There is a new office. Number four, there, uh, there not are not materials to work. There are not. Very good. There are not materials to work. And number five, there is not three boxes in the lobby. There, there are. are. There are. Very good. Perfect. Entonces, está bien fácil, ¿verdad? Bien nice. El ejercicio este lo vamos a hacer después. By now, we are going to continue with uh, the next part says you need two directions and instructions. I will be able to ask and tell information about places at the company. In the number one, it says, let's start. Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Aha, uh -huh, everybody. Teacher. Yep. What is a business guest? Ok, guest es un invitado, un invitado de negocio. Mm. Ok, so do you usually mm. receive business guests in your work? Yeah, workplace? in my case, because I'm a salesperson, I receive guests all days. All the time, right? Yes. Which it's my of... daily routine. <laughs> yeah, it's your daily routine. Which day of the week do you receive more people? On Saturday. Oh, Saturdays. Mm, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because we not open uh, on Sunday. Okay, very good. Perfect. That's uh, interesting. Thank you, Carla Daniela. Any other? Uh, do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Nobody else is. Okay, not a problem. And then it says, well, do you enjoy welcoming guests? Mm, well, that is like a, I guess, yes, right, because it's your job. So we're going to do the part two. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation. So es una conversación y como siempre, ¿verdad? yo digo, y luego chequeamos uh, pronunciation, luego practicamos y luego vocabulary. So it says, good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lounges or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Pronunciation questions. It's a build, building wing. Building, let me just check. Will, building. A building, building. Building, will. building. Okay. Good. Any other question? Teacher. Uh -huh. Michelle o Michael Pérez. 
Michael. Michael Pérez, ok. Michael Pérez, ajá. De hecho, los, los gringuitos no dicen Pérez, sino que dicen Pérez. Pérez, como que tuviera TIR de la E en la última E. Pérez. Sí, así, que no sé por qué. Creo que por okay. la intonation es diferente en inglés. Mm -hmm. Ok. Good, good. Any other question? Pronunciation question, no more. Okay, let's practice. That. Listener teacher, listeners. Listeners. Así como se, se, así como se lee, se pronuncia. Yeah, listeners. Okay. Okay, so let's practice. Let's see, uh, Cristina and Carla Daniela. Ok, pero no. Si gusta, empiece usted, Daniel. Ok. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning, yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor of duty. On duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jenner. Miss Jenner. Miss Jenner, good. Ok, let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunch, lunches or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria. Inside. Sigo, ah, sí, the new, the new building, building wing. Building wing. Building wing. Okay. Good. Thank you. Now, Abel Edenilson and Mario Ernesto. Okay, teacher. Good morning. Are you Mitchell Pe Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I am the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are, are there you know, seats for listeners? Yes, yes, absolutely. The conference, the conference room in the master the train room. Got it. How about lunch or recreational? Recreational please place is places. there a lunch? Places is there a lunch? Yes, it is in Around of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. wing. Okay, nice. Thank you. Now, Jeanette Angel and Carlos Humberto. Good morning. Are you Michelle Perez? Michael Perez. Michael Perez, Perez. Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is. My name is Jen, Jen Jenner. I am the supervisor and duty day to meet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get a starter. Is there a conference? Ahí continúa usted, eh, Janet. Sí, sí. Room in the heart. I, if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the train room. Go it. 
how about loads or recreational places in their lounge? A lounge. Lounge. Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Laura Puentes and Elia Janida. Good morning. Are you Michael first? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jan Jenner. I day. I did, I did supervisor duty, duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there comfort? Conference. Digo yo. Así es. Sí. Room in... In here, I am so are there in, in now see at seat Sit. for seat for list leader listener. listeners listener yes absolutely the conference room in next to the training room get get it Got it. How, got it. How about long days? How recreational place in their long days? Ah, Laura? Josie. Laura. Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Gabriel, is possible for you? Not possible, okay. Roberto Emilio and Jocelyn Castaneda. Okay. Okay, teacher. Comienza, Jocelyn. Okay. Good morning. Are you Michelle Perez? Michael Perez. Michael. Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I am the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jenner. Miss yes. Jenner. Uh -huh. Let's get started. Is there a conference room is here? And if so, are there announced scenes for listen, listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room in the next to the training room. Got it. How about lunch of recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in from the cafeteria inside the new building wind okay very good thank you now Saul Adalberto and Ivania okay and uh, good morning are you Ma Michael yes. good morning yes I am my name is Jane Jenner I I am the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there an out seat for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lounge or recreational place? Is there a lounge? lounge? Yes, it is from the cafeteria inside oh. the new building wing. Perfect, thank you. 
Now Francisco Acuña and Carla Mendoza. Okay. Um, good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on Dory. Dory, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jane. Let, let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room and in, in next to training room. Got it. How about lunch, lunches or recreational place? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is yes. in front of the cafeteria place. Okay, the, the new building wing. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Eh, Marilyn, Alejandra. Y yo creo que ya pasamos todo. Ya no regresó Elizabeth. Yeah, I guess we did that. Okay. Bueno, okay. entonces le va a tocar con, a ver, con Roberto Emilio. <laughs> Okay. Empieza, um, empiezo yo, empiezo usted. L. Marilyn, la caballerosidad ante todo. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on Dari. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there no seats for our listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room in the next to the training room. Gary, how about lounge or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, let's check some pronunciation things, okay? Um, duty, okay? Este, recordemos que es Miss, ¿verdad? Si le ponemos Mister, ya cambia todo. Aunque hoy en día ya bien común. Let's see. Enough. Enough seats. Absolutely. Aquí hay un error, aquí debería ser is, ¿verdad? No in. Lounges. Y lounge. Building. Oops. Building wing. Ok, and now let's check about the vocabulary. So it says, let's see. On duty, supervisor on duty, what is that? Como supervisor a cargo. A cargo, very good. On duty, that is it. And let's get started. What is that? Comencemos. Comencemos, ¿verdad? Let's start. So let's get started. Eh, enough. Do you remember enough? Suficiente. Very good. Seats. Asientos. Asientos. Este es diferente que sit del verbo, ¿verdad? Seats es nombre, como lo estamos viendo en pantalla. Y sit es um, verbo. So that's the difference. Uh, let's see. When you say got it, what is it? Entiendo. Entiendo. Very good. 
launches or launch. What is that? Salon. Salon. Very good. And then it says the new building wing. What is that? The new building wing. Very good. La, en la nueva ala del edificio. ¿verdad? Oh, sí, the new building wing. The new building wing. Sí, sería la nueva ala del edificio. So, eh, es como que cuando hay edificios y hay diferentes sectores, se puede decir. Something like that. Do you have any questions? Questions. Okay. Ah, let's see. Okay. So let's check the exercise three. Complete the questions about the conversation, then write the answer. Okay. ¿Cómo sería la primera? La primera pregunta. Are there? Are there enough seats for listeners? Y la respuesta, ¿cómo sería? Yes, there, there are enough. Very good, perfect. Yes, there are, or there are enough seats. Uh, number two, the question was going to be. Is there a conference room? Perfect. Is there a conference room? And the answer? Yes, there is a conference room. Perfect. Yes, there is a conference room. Very nice. Like, perfect. Okay. Y este es ya las preguntas, ¿verdad? How to use there is and there are in questions. Saula de Alberto me dijo que quería leer el cuadrito. Así que le damos la palabra. Okay, um, look at the words in bold and complete the statement in the box. One, is there a meeting room in your company? Two, is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Three, are there enough representatives? Four, are there many restrooms in your work? To ask singular question we use. To ask plural question we use. Okay, so that is it. It says, look at the words in balls. Balls es negrita, ¿verdad? Así como está representado ahí. And complete the statement in the box. So, is there a meeting room in your company? Entonces, recordemos que para las preguntas con there is, le cambiamos, ¿verdad? La posición. So, is there... A meeting room in your company? Is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Are there enough representatives? Recordemos plural con plural. Are there many restrooms in your work? Okay. So, basado en el cuadro, entonces, to ask singular questions, we use? Is there? Is there? Is perfect. there? Good. And to ask plural questions, we use? Are there. Perfect. Are there. Eso es todo, ¿verdad? Is there, are there. Um, let's see. I have a question for you. What is a treatment plant? Planta de tratamiento. Planta de tratamiento, ¿verdad? Y para el agua o por desechos o cosas por el estilo. Um, what is restrooms? Back. ¿Perdón? Baños. Baños, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos de un baño que está en un lugar público, es un restroom. En la casa sí es un bathroom, ¿verdad? Pero uh, en un centro comercial o something like that, por ejemplo, en su trabajo, uh, they are called yeah. restrooms. Good. Do you have any questions here? No questions. Okay. So now we are going to do the exercise five. Write the questions that correspond to the answer that follow. 
use the words in parentheses. Compare your answers with the partner. Entonces, hay un ejemplo de lo que vamos a hacer. Entre paréntesis está lo que vamos a usar para preguntar. Y ahí está la respuesta. ¿verdad? Entonces, basado en la respuesta y en el paréntesis, vamos a hacer la pregunta. ¿Qué vamos a escribir la pregunta? Por ejemplo, en el paréntesis de la número uno, dice conference room. So, we are going to make the question about conference room. And in the answer, it says, yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. So based on this information, the question is, is there a conference room in your company? Okay. Now we are going to do the exercise. Vamos a hacer ejercicio entonces. Vamos a hacer las preguntas. Les doy tiempo para que las escriban, compañeros.
Ok, has everybody finished? ¿Falta alguien todavía? Ok, we're ready. So, number two. ¿Cómo quedaría la número dos? Are there training rooms? Ok, are there any... Uh -huh. mm, any are there any training rooms? In the company. Respuesta, no, there are not any. We have no training rooms. Very good. So, are there any training rooms in your company? Y pues la respuesta ya está ahí. Very good, perfect, thank you. Number three, ¿cómo queda el número tres? Uh, hi, anybody? Is there one? Is there one? Uh -huh. Is there a on site clinic? Very good. Is there one on site clinic in your company? That's the way it is. No, there is not one. Okay. Eh, tal vez se puede ver, se puede cambiar. Lo único que podríamos hacerle es one, cambiárselo por A. Ah, es lo mismo. Pero one is very good. Number four. Aha. Uh -huh. How is it going to be number four? Are there bathrooms inside the building? Okay, are there restrooms inside the building? Perfect. And the answer is yes, there are five restrooms inside the building. Perfect, very nice. Do you have any question here? No more questions. Ok. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio entonces. Ahora utilizando there is y there are. Vamos a escribir un párrafo. Eh, un párrafo y en el párrafo lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a describir nuestra casa de los sueños, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué es lo que vamos a describir en la casa de los sueños? ¿Qué es lo que tiene, verdad? Eh, usando there is y there are. Vamos a decir todo lo que tiene. Tiene cinco pisos, tiene, o oh, hay, ¿verdad? Sería, hay cinco baños, hay un jacuzzi, hay una piscina, hay una cancha de tenis, hay un eh, helipuerto, lo que ustedes le quieran poner. Y también vamos a poner cosas negativas. There isn't y cualquier cosa que no quiera que haya, ¿verdad? Podemos describir también a... Uh, no solo los cuartos, sino también los muebles, ¿verdad? There is a big clock, por ejemplo. There is a, a big TV. Uh, there is an orange sofa. Cosas por el estilo. Entonces vamos a escribir un párrafo que lleve there is, there are, y que lleva también negativas de eso. Y lo que vamos a hacer es describir nuestra casa de los sueños. Y luego lo vamos a compartir con los compañeros. Preguntas o dudas con actividad. No hay preguntas. I have one. Okay. How can I explain that I want uh, three, uh, tres pisos? Ah, entonces se le pone, there are three floors. Floors. Mm -hmm. okay. Floors. Thank you. You're welcome. Si hay preguntas, me dicen y yo estoy por acá. Y pues le doy su tiempo para que escribamos el párrafo.
Have you finished or uh, do you need more time? ¿O hay preguntas? No, sorry? I'm ready, teacher. Sí, porque si sigo, sigo escribiendo, no termino hoy. <laughs> ok, that's good. ¿Los demás compañeros? Uh, ¿Estamos listos? Ok. Let's check then. Uh, vamos a iniciar con Carlos Humberto. Ok, ok. Uh, in my future house, there are a big yard for my dogs. There are many rooms to rest silently. There is a beautiful and modern kitchen. And there are a big, uh, is a sala. Living room. Uh, living room to watch movies. Very good. And how many rooms are there in your house? Yes. How many? How many rooms uh, are oh, there in your house? Uh, six. Six. Okay, very good. And uh, is there a kitchen in your house? Yes. Just a... Uh, nice. And do you have how many? How many uh, televisions are there in your house? Uh, two. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Now we're going to listen to Cristina Cerritos. Okay, teacher. The house of my dream is Ivory. Why is a dining room? A living room, three bedrooms, living room, uh, two car cars, uh, and garden. And garden. Y lo que no nos gusta, dijo, vea, Ah, negativas. Ah, lo que no va a haber. Sí. I don't, I don't like a woman that coming from a bridge, a bridge that is outside because it will damage or launch. No sé si me, si me comprendió, sí. Ok, sí, yeah, very good, perfect. Sí. And how many rooms are there in your house? Cristina. Finish. Ah, pero yo lo voy a preguntar. A ver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> how many rooms are there in your house? Um, how many rooms? How many um, rooms are there in your house? How many rooms are there in your house? Um, que si hay mucho humo. No, how many rooms are there in your how house? How many rooms in your house? Yes. Ah, ya me dijo que sí. Sí, yes. Ahora va a tener que bailar. Ay, señor. <laughs> no. Le pregunté que cuántos cuartos tiene su casa. How many rooms are there? How many cuantos? How many cuantos? Room, mm -hmm. cuarto, the house. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Uh, four, four. Four rooms, okay, that is very good. Four Perfect. rooms, four rooms, teacher, sí. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you, Cristina. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now we're going to listen to Jeanette Angel. My dream's house, there are four rooms. There is one uh, TV, 50 inch. There is... Uh, one full. There is sofa color brown. There is a floor color beige. There is a garden. One garden. Okay, very good. And uh, 
Uh, are there any pets in your house? Repeat. Are there any pets in your house? La, la última no. In your house. Okay, uh, pets es mascota, si tiene algunas mascotas. No. No. No how. No how. No, no there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay. Otra pregunta. Um, let's see. How many bathrooms are there in your house? Mm, there, there are uh, three, three. Three bathrooms, okay, that's good, bathrooms. perfect. Thank you, Jeanette. Okay, now we're going to listen to Mario Ernesto. My house is pretty big. There are seven bedrooms. Two bathrooms and two bathrooms. There is a big kitchen too. Where my mother I and I cook every day. I love cook, cooking seafood, fish, cream. In my bedroom, there is my bed and TV, my own space to the, to my work, my house. Cup, uh, okay. Uh -huh. I have uh, one dog, 24 cups. One per kit, per kit, how much per kit? Per kit, per kit. Okay, that sounds very interesting, very good. <laughs> and uh, uh, let me think: Is there any pool in your house? No. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Maria. Now we're going to listen to Laura Fuentes. Boy. In my house, there are two rooms. In the first, there is no TV, only the living room. In the second, there are coffee colored furniture, a uh, TV, white uh, speakers, with speakers, a uh, play fight, two lamps, a um, coffee, um, coffee table, 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 and a uh, guest bathroom, and a bathroom with a shower. They are dining rooms for 12 people. Pictures on the walls and sailing lamps. There is a kitchen room. There are four rooms, a garden, a uh, small garden. I uh, don't have any pets because I don't like the smell. Smell, no sé cómo olor. Smell, yeah. Smell. 
I live with my husband and two children. Very nice, very good, perfect. Uh, Laura, uh, is there any pool in your house? No sé qué es pool. Pool es piscina. Uh, no, I don't, I don't have. Okay. And uh, is there any uh, basketball court in your house? No, I, I don't have basketball. Okay, there isn't any. Perfect, thank you. Now we are going to listen to Elia Janida. No, 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 it's the teacher. Ah, pero por qué? Okay, not possible. Gabriel creería yo que tampoco, ¿verdad? Roberto Emilio. Okay, teacher, what I mean is in my house, there is a large garden. There are two very large lion statues. There, there is no space for a pool. There are two main bedrooms and in each one, there is a bathroom. There are three bathrooms bedrooms pardon for visitors there are windows so large that they can be seen very close the mountains there is a very special kitchen okay very good and is there any dining room in your house repeat please is there a dining room in your house no, no, there, there, okay. there, isn't. there are, there isn't. Okay. And how many rooms are there in your house? Uh, there are five rooms. Five. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Roberto. Okay. Now we're going to listen to Saul Alberto. Okay, uh, my dream house. There are uh, four rooms, and there is a furniture, and there are a uh, kitchen with a big oven um, for prepare a cake. Is there are a uh, four bathrooms, one for one for a uh, room, one, one for room, and a parking with a uh, space for one or, or two cars. Mm, okay, very good. That is nice. It's very accurate. And uh, is there any? Uh, are there any pets in your house? Mm. Yes, uh, I I are have uh, maybe two cats and one dog. Mm, very nice, cats and dogs. And uh, how many uh, how many ba uh, bathrooms are there in the in the house? How many bathrooms? Mm, there there are have uh, four bathroom, one for uh, for for rooms, no sé cómo sería, por habitación. Por uh, one, one per room. One per, uh, per. One Very per good. rooms. Nice, perfect. Thank you, Saul. Thank you. Okay, the next one is for Jocelyn Castaneda. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay, not possible. Uh, Carla Anila. Okay. No miro. Bye bye. 
there is a huge garden with lots of flowers. There are two floors. There is a swimming pool. There isn't a small TV. There is a gaming room with colorful lights and a big computer. There are some swings in the garden. There aren't small fridges. And there are around 10 rooms. Okay, 10 rooms, that's a lot. And uh, how many bathrooms are there in your house? Hmm, maybe four. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, is there any pool in your house? Yeah, a big swimming pool. Nice, very good. Big swimming pool, nice. Perfect, thank you, Carla Anira. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, now we're going to listen to Ivania. Okay, teacher. Um, in my dream house, there is a big garden. There is a game room for my son. And for me, there is cinema room. Um, but there are, there are not levels in only one floor. Um, there are three bathrooms. There is a bathroom that has a tub. Um, there is a kitchen, but there are a dining room. It's not necessary. Can go to eat in the garden. Okay, very good. Sounds very interesting. Very complete. And are there any pets in your house? Yes, teacher. There are two puppies, dogs. Nice, very good. And uh, only that, perfect. Thank you, Vanya, very good. Now we're gonna listen to Francisco Acuña. Okay. The house of my dreams. There are larger garden. There are larger window. There are 80 rooms of good size. There are a small pool. There are two rooms right there, a small screen. There is a larger kitchen. There are individual bedroom in each room. There are three pets and cat and two dogs. There is no uh, vehicle. There is no motorcycle. There is no gym. Very good, perfect, very complete, very nice. And uh, how many how many bathrooms you say there are? Uh, bathroom uh, individual. Ah, per room. Uh, One per room. Per room. Okay, uh -huh. interesting. Very nice. And uh, are there any pets in your house? Yes. Three. And cats. Two dogs. Very nice. Sounds interesting. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Francisco. Now we are going to listen to Abel Edenilson. Okay, teacher, my house is very simple. In, in my house, uh, there are four rooms. There is a there is a room. There are two. Uh, a bathroom. There are three beds. There is one parking. There is a garden. There is one motorcycle. 
there is one car. Only that. Okay, very good, perfect. And uh, how many bathrooms are there you say? Two bathrooms. There two. are two bathrooms. Okay. And is there any gaming room? Yes, there is one game room. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Abel. Okay. Now we're going to listen to Carla Mendoza. Okay, teacher, in my dream house, there is a soccer field. There are many rooms. There are no noises in this It is on a one floor. There is a very large garden and there is a swimming pool. There is a large closet and a very large patio. There are in small windows. Very good, very nice. It's very important what you say, no noisy neighbors. So that is yes. amazing. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, how many bathrooms are there in your house? There are eight bathrooms, but because there are eight rooms. Okay, is there any bathroom? Excuse me? Is there any bathtub? Bathtub. Um, repeat the last word. Ah, uh, yeah, bathtub. Okay, a bathtub is una tina. Ah, uh, okay. Um, eight in this in each uh, but room in each room. Okay, everybody has a battle. Very interesting. Very good. Okay, perfect. Thank you, uh, Gisela Beatriz. Is possible for you? Not possible. Okay. Very good exercise, very interesting. And uh, it was very nice just to listen to you and also uh, to check that you you have very good ideas on your dream house and also that you can use there is and there are. Nice. Tenemos unos par de minutos, entonces vamos a hacer conversaciones libres, individuales esta vez. Let's see. I'm going to speak with Roberto Emilio. Yeah, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm very well, and you? Um, so so. Why so so? I am tired. I am. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. Me too. You know, this day has been very difficult, and uh, well, it's only Tuesday. So, let's see what happens tomorrow, right? So. And uh, <coughs> what kind of music do you like? Repeat, please. Yeah, what kind of music do you like? Um, or English, only English. English. Yeah. But is pop music, rap music, rock music? Uh, nigga music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so like, like, like rap or something like that. Yeah. Okay, very good. Who is your favorite singer? Um is that a good question? Mm, I don't know, no. You don't have any? Mm. No. Okay, good. And uh, do you have a favorite song? Uh, no, no. Mm, okay, very good. And uh, uh, when you listen to music, you listen to music 
on your cell phone or on the radio or in a stereo? How do you do that? Uh, in my cell phone. Okay, good. Yeah. How, how often do you listen to music? Repeat, please. Yeah, how often do you listen to music? Oh, don't remember often. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We need more time, right? So the good thing is that with the music that you listen, uh, since they sing very fast, you're going to be very fluent. So that is very good. And in the bus, Ah, okay. Yeah. That happens, right? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, relax. Yeah. For the okay. traffic. Very good. Thank you, Roberto. You're welcome. Good. Now let's check about Ivania. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm so tired. <laughs> and you? <laughs> Me too, you know. I believe maybe all of us, we are very tired. And the sad part is that it's only Tuesday, right? So we miss a lot. But anyways, that's the way it is. <laughs> and what kind of music do you like? Mm, maybe um, romantic and pop. <laughs> romantic and I pop. I don't Mm -hmm. Okay, and who is your favorite artist? Mm. Uh, Christian and the uh, of Coldplay. Ah, okay, Coldplay. Yeah, Chris. Yes, Chris. Chris. Uh -huh. Adele, Sam okay. Smith is good artist. I really love one song of Sam Smith, you know, one that is called Not the Only One. Yes. That is amazing. And the video is amazing. I mean, it's very Adele sad. And uh -huh. Smith is similar. Yeah, they are like, like with pain, right? Something like that. So it's, it's very nice. Yes. Modo señoras, no dos. Yeah, that is true. Okay. And what is your favorite song? Mm, Yellow, the Coldplay. Ah, that is a very oh, nice song. Full Star, uh, also Coldplay. Okay. Those are very, very good. I really like one song of Coldplay that is called A Warning Sign. That is a very nice song. Yes. Good. Did you go to Costa Rica and watch the concert? Ay, Dios. <laughs> it's not <laughs> I am poor. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was amazing. It was very good. Maybe next time because I, I heard that he, they coming back. So maybe. Maybe I am um, maybe in salsa in El Salvador. Corte, yeah, it's, maybe. Yeah. It's easier, right? Because I mean, you just pay for the ticket and that's it. <laughs> Okay, very good. Thank you, Vanya. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Uh, now, a ver, un voluntario. A ver si hay alguien que quiera platicar conmigo. Sin pena, ¿verdad? Somos amigos aquí. Ni se oyen de tantos que quieren participar, teacher. Verdad que no. <laughs> I teacher. Okay, very good. Let's start with Abel. How are you, Abel? I'm fine, teacher. I'm very tired for my work. Me too, you know. I just want to sleep. But in a few minutes, we are going to do that. And uh, what kind of music do you like? Repeat, please. Teacher. Yeah. What kind of music do you like? A music. Uh, how do you say, Christian? Gospel. 
God bless. Okay, God. Okay, but do you listen to gospel music in English or in Spanish? It's for the for the for the best. My English, I listen in English. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, who is your favorite artist? Favorite? Yeah, who is your favorite artist? What is the meaning artist? Your favorite singer. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name the the, the artist. <laughs> okay, and then what is your favorite song? The song is uh, romantic. Romantic. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Uh, only only music south. That music. Yes. Why? Because as something identific. You identify with that. Yes. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Abel. Okay. Very good. Very nice. So it was a very good class, and we practice a lot. Do you have any question before we finish? No, teacher. OK. So let's check the attendance and let's finish the class. So Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Present, teacher. Good. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Elia Janira Canizale Blanco. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Good night. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Santos Cristina Cerrito de Ruiz. Present teacher. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. El one one de ahora es para Gisela Beatriz. Entonces, see you tomorrow, my friends. Have a good night. Rest very well. And dream in English. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, good teacher. Night. Have a good, good night. night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. O me toca el one one. Le tocaba ahora Gisela. Ah, okay. I'll just have rest. So See you. Tomorrow. Rest very well.